Hello everyone, Ed from Camper here welcoming you back to another exciting and value-packed Camper tutorial. This one's for all you job hunters, beginners in the workforce and even seasoned professionals looking to level up your resumes. I'll be showing you how to plan, design and build out a creative and professional resume that's sure to catch your future employer's eye. I'll also be sharing a super simple process you can follow importing your existing resume data and information into one of Canva's resume templates. So, without further ado, let's hop into Canva and get started. Here we are in Canva and we're working with this example resume from a graphic designer named Catherine June. It's highly recommended to start with a previous resume or a planning page which contains all the data and information you'd like to include in your resume. Common pieces of information include your name, profession, a bite-sized one to three sentence about me section, a summary of your education, a summary of your recent relevant experience and your contact details. You may or may not want to include an image of yourself in your resume, it really comes down to personal preference. But for this tutorial, I'll be building out our example resume with an image, which you can see over here. It also pays to have a sound understanding of your industry and what potential employers would be looking for in your resume. Our subject here, Catherine, is a graphic designer, so a creative resume which ties into this would be a nice added touch. So we're going to look for a resume template by heading to the templates tab, which is already open. Yay. And we're going to look through a few of these categories and tabs here. We want creative resume templates. So I think there might be, yes, there is a creative resume tab over there conveniently for us. We're going with these creative templates because Catherine is a graphic designer, as mentioned, and potential future employees may look very favorably at a resume that shows some creative flair. My initial thoughts are to go for something clean with a few splashes of color that's also neatly laid out. We don't want to get too, too, too creative. We don't want to overwhelm, I guess, the employer who's screening through all these resumes. So I'm just going to flick through or through these. I like this one here and that one there. And I'm just going to take my time looking through a few of these, see which ones catch my eye. I think for the purpose of this tutorial, this one here might be good for us to go through this resume template right there. So I'm going to select that add it as a new page and here we are. So first thing is first, let's get our composition right. Meaning our frames and elements are where we want them to be, our fonts and colors look how we want them to look and our text is aligned accordingly in the scheme of this all. We're going to copy and paste Catherine's headshot into our new page. We're going to drag it into this frame that we have set out here. And I might just center this really quickly, perfect. We're also going to give this headshot image a similar black and white effect to the placeholder image that was in this template originally by clicking on the image, heading to adjust and turning saturation all the way down. We're then going to dial up the brightness a little bit and then counterbalance that with a bit of contrast. And now the image is popping. I like the colors in these blob elements which are around the edges of our template but i do want to make this template our own so i might use some custom shades of purple dark blue and light blue for these blobs so i'm just going to quickly go to light blue i like that might go for a purple here again just making some custom colors and a darker blue down here. Perfect. I'm also going to turn the transparency down a touch just so these colors aren't too distracting or noisy. So I might turn these all down to 20. And I'm going to reposition these elements out of the way of any key parts of our design. So I'm just going to play around with the positioning a little bit and just see if I can find an arrangement that catches my eye that I think looks good. So feel free to take as much time as you need to in doing this kind of thing. Just find a, an arrangement that sort of works for you. Kind of liking this so far. That could be cool. So I'm going to quickly select these and lock them just so I don't accidentally select them later on when I'm editing a few th different things. And I quite like the fact that these elements are now in a bit more of a distal position where they don't really intrude with any of our text too much. They don't dip into any of this body text over here. 
we're making terrific progress. So I might keep the font the same as what was in the template, um, just because I like how this is a tall, narrow font contrasted against this sort of shorter, more round and more legible sort of subheading font. What I might do first though, is just change the color of this graphic design text to a sort of pastel purple color, much like this over here, and make that just a tad bit lighter. Usually what will happen is there would be a document colors selection over here, which will be able to copy this color from, but because this was a darker purple, which we then added transparency to, it's not showing up here. So this is a good workaround for the time being. I might just make this purple a little bit more dull in a sense. So it matches the color on the left there better. There we go. And I'm happy with that so far. So our composition is looking great. It's now time to add the bulk of our information in. I'm going to start by creating a guide down the center of our design by enabling rulers and enabling guides. And then I might drag this into the center which should snap into place. I think about there. And we're gonna work with these two columns here. So I'm gonna move this in line with this column here. I'm gonna move this up so that these two pieces of text are in line with each other. And I'm going to put this in place over here and put that in place over there. I'm gonna start by copy and pasting our about me section into this design and selecting backspacing and pasting. There we go. I might keep the font size as 10 for now, just to see where we land by the end of all this. I might enlarge it if I find there's a lot of white space in this design. Then I'm gonna make my way over to education and skills. I'm going to adjust those sections. So I'm just gonna move these out of the way for a second. I'm gonna copy and paste our skill section text into the skill section text box over here. And just quickly reposition that a little bit. Logo design, branding, illustration, photo editing, and manipulation. Perfect. Could probably even shorten that to photo manipulation. Just to give it, just to sort of keep it on that same line. And we don't like that line break that was there before. And just before we finish on this part, I'm just going to quickly ungroup all these and remove these bottom two. Rows of circles is looking like it's in line, which is working out well. And I'm going to quickly change the colors of these dark circles to purple. And I can do that by changing all, which is a nifty little option we have over here. That's looking good. Now we're going to make our way into education. I'm just going to quickly ungroup this group of text. And I'm going to group select these. Remove these and paste these in. So I just want to make sure that these are the right font size. So it's 10 and the font was collective, which should be up the top since it's in use on this design. There we go. So that's matching the rest of it now. Perfect. Contact details, let's move on to that. It's quite a simple one. Copy and paste. And there's only three lines of contact details. I think we can do something creative with this later. Let's revisit that. We're making great progress. Now let's move on to experience. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly backspace what is currently in our template and we're going to select our experience from our starting resume template. And again, I'm just going to quickly change the font size to 10 and then change the font to collective and that's in place. I'm just going to quickly Give this a bit more length. Maybe we can save a few line breaks here. Okay, it looks like it might not be enough space here. So what we can do, we can think laterally and come up with a solution for this. I might move this to a different page for now. And what we could do here potentially is take our education, put it over here, just being mindful to make these text boxes smaller just so they don't interfere when we're reading other things and what we can consume in. Just so we can select that a bit better. There we go. Bring that in. Bring that in. And now what we're going to do is we are going to select these. Bring that up. And that is looking much better. We have the issue now of our contact details having no place. But I think 
as mentioned, there could be a cool graphic solution we can we can do here. Um, I think we can first things first ungroup that. What we could potentially do is center this. And this ties into the fact that our subject is a graphic designer. What I'm thinking we could do is we could put a phone icon over here, a phone element over here, potentially an email element over there, and like a website element and have the addresses or have the, the contact details next to it. So it's like a graphic sort of solution to, to having her contact details listed out. So let's see how this looks. I'm gonna go with something simple and filled. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly resize this and move it down here. I might make that even smaller. And I'm going to find the email icon relevant. I like that. It seems like a great fit given that our phone is filled as well. Look for a website element. And let's go with this www element over here, seeing as it is also a filled element and it's quite contrasting and easy to discern even at a small size. So perfect. I'm going to put these in some rough positions for now and I'm going to just copy and paste this a few times just so we can get our text in place. Yeah, we don't need that email word over there seeing as we have the element for our email over there can conveniently. And I'm just going to remove those. Put this text in place. And by the way guys, what I'm doing is I'm just double clicking the text and it's selecting that line of text, which is how I'm able to select a line of text and backspace it so conveniently and quickly. Now I just want to quickly zoom in and readjust the length of this. So what we're going to do next is we're going to group select our phone icon and phone number and group those. Same with the email and then same with the website slash portfolio. And then we are going to space these evenly horizontally just so that they're at equal distance away from each other. We're then going to group them as an entirety and then position them in the center. And then we're going to ungroup yet again. And now these are set out quite nicely towards the bottom of our design. Might just move this blob out of the way now so it's not intruding too much with this email icon over here. And then we lock that. I like how that's looking now. And now our contact details are looking great. It's a creative solution for arranging our contact information. I like the way that this has been done. Let's move up here and just go over a bunch of our different sections here. Go for, look for sense checks, make some edits, make sure all the elements and text boxes are aligned. I'm also going to change the name of this resume to our subject, Catherine. And I'm going to just fix that up really quickly. There we go. And just making sure everything is aligned. I'm going to move over here to our skill section, just make sure this is accurate. So Catherine's skill level with logo design is actually quite high. The same with photo manipulation. Branding illustration looks about right. Happy to keep that the way it is. These dates look all good. No typos there, no squiggly colored underlines, which is great. And the text in our experience descriptions could actually use a bit of touch up so I can see there's a full stop there but there isn't on some other points so I'm going to quickly make some edits to that make sure everything is uniform and following the same formatting across every single item in our experience section and organization it depends which country you're from there's different spelling for that i'm happy to keep it with the z for now and we're now just going to quickly make sure that our text boxes are all aligned and I implore you to take a moment to make sure everything's aligned correctly whenever you're designing something. Spend a few moments towards the end before you're confident in publishing this and just make sure that you're happy with the way everything is set out. I'm going to quickly align this with the text box on the left, its counterpart, making sure that's all lined up. And I'm going to bring this up until it intersects. Yep, perfect. Just like that. See those purple lines telling us that it's on the ridge of the text box above it? Perfect. And I'm going to bring that up. And now what I'm going to do using my direction keys is to push this text box down two units and to push this down one unit. And I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of these. So I'm just going to make sure again that this is lined up there perfectly. Yep, that's looking good. So again, I'm going to push this down two units. I'm going to push that down one unit. That's looking good. I might line that up there. Again, making sure that's lined up. And then pushing this down two units. Pushing that down one unit. And now this is looking great. 
So I'm just going to keep the... That's looking good. That's looking good. And that's looking good. I'm not too fussed about our email text going beyond this margin just because some of our heading text is. And I'm just going to zoom out to get a good look at this. And I'm loving the way that's looking. And voila, we've just leveled up a resume from this to this. All while leaning on Canva's massive temperate library to do all the heavy lifting and creative brainstorming for us. You can even take this all a step further and create a simple cover letter template for you to send with your resume using some key visual components of your resume. Like so. If you like this tutorial, please let us know by dropping a like on this video. If you found any of the lessons here useful, we'd also love to hear in the comments below. And I'll be seeing you in the next tutorial.